of 40 years this year, like I said, congratulations. Thank um, you. What made you want to start Children's Miracle Network Hospitals? I was doing an award show. I, I It might have been a People's Choice Awards, but uh, I was with John Schneider and we were doing a tribute. Anyway, long story short, we were backstage and a woman came up and said, hey, we'd love you two to do this charity. And I loved doing things, especially for children. And they said, John said, great. And I said, yeah, I'd love to. And she goes, no, Marie, you can't. You just did one for this cause and we can't have you on this cause. And I thought that is wrong. Be and I started doing research into these charities and I saw that, you know, maybe 30, 40 percent actually got to the cause after all the overheads and everything else. And also all these different like accident victims, whether it was a heart disease or a, or a cancer or whatever, um, they all had to be treated in children's hospitals. And then I realized that children's hospital was last on government funding. And I said, guys, we really need to do something here. Um, so out of all of those children, I bet all of their stories are so inspirational. Um, oh my goodness. And you've definitely gotten the chance to meet some of them. So can you tell me about some of the more inspirational or more um, to your heart stories that you've ever heard? You have a month. Um, <laughs> I just, I love these kids so much. I could tell you story after story. Uh, statistics prove that everybody will use a children's hospital at some time in their life. Uh, one of the first uh, heart transplant survivals. And he was sitting on my lap. That's back when we used to do a telethon. And uh, he was sitting and, and they were counting to come to me. We're gonna be with you in 20 seconds. And they were counting down. And he was sitting on my lap and I could feel his little heart beating. And I thought, wow, you know, what a miracle. And right by the camera were two women. And the one woman said, thank you for giving my son life. And I thought she was the doctor, the mother talking to the doctor. And then the woman answered back and said, thank you for letting my baby live on through yours. And it was just so powerful to when it says miracle network. I mean, that's what it is. And nothing that you could give a family that could be any better than the gift of their child's life or their grandchild or whatever. And so here I'm emotional. You know, I've done some pretty amazing things in my life and there's nothing that I love more than this. Not allowed to make it public yet, but the University of Pittsburgh's dance marathon is- I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, without telling us, without giving away the news, can you tell us your thoughts on the University of Pittsburgh's dance marathon and what they've been able to achieve? They are such a um, a template for success. The passion that these kids have, the love they have for helping these kids, they have fun doing it. That's the greatest thing is they really do have fun. You know what? I, I just think they're great. And I think the reason why Pittsburgh is so successful, because I'm a Steelers fan and I have a terrible towel, okay? But... <laughs> I love Pittsburgh and and the people they they really are passionate and you can tell by this this uh you know this wonderful dance -a thon that you guys do maybe I'll drop in sometime <laughs>